family. Well, some heated moments on Utah's Capitol Hill today as the House discussed a bill to modify Proposition 3 to expand Medicaid in our state. After a long debate, representatives voted to approve a new version of the bill. ABC4's chief political correspondent, Glenn Mills, has the story. Emotions run high outside the House chamber as Senate Bill 96 is being debated. Faith leaders who support Prop 3 join in prayer and protest. And inside the gallery, a protester is escorted out by law enforcement. Respect our vote. Most Republican lawmakers say they are respecting the vote, but doing it in a fiscally responsible way. This plan will create the same number of jobs, put the same amount of money into the economy, and, and it's sustainable. We're doing it in a sustainable way. Representative Jim Dunnigan, the House sponsor, is adding a fallback option to the bill that passed the Senate. Simply put, the bill would expand coverage to Utahns at or below 100% of the federal poverty level on April 1st on a 70-30 split. Those up to 138% of the FPL would stay on the exchange. If a 90-10 waiver from the feds doesn't come through by January 2020, Medicaid would expand to 138% of the FPL with work and employer-sponsored health care requirements. If waivers don't come through for that by July 2020, the fallback would be Representative Ray Ward's HB 210, which provides full Medicaid expansion with some smaller modifications. House Democrats say full expansion up front is still the best way to go. It's not at the same cost to the vulnerable population that we're talking about. And we are talking about a vulnerable population. In the end, the House votes to approve the amended bill 56 to 19. Advocates say the fight isn't over. We find it really shameful that lawmakers uh, ignored the will of the people. Um, and now we're going to make sure that voters remember. While supporters of the bill say the legislature did the exactly what they should have. The voters wanted to expand Medicaid, and I feel like 96 does that, but in a way that we can afford. The 56 vote mark is a significant point because if the Senate also gets a two-thirds vote, the bill will be projected, protected, I should say, from referendum. That is expected to happen on Monday, the Senate sponsor saying he believes it's a done